Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am hoping you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all guys for the past love on the previous videos. I've been getting so many likes, so few dislikes. Uh, so many people have been leaving such heartwarming comments. It, you may not seem like uh, I appreciate it through a simple comment, but I seriously do. I mean, it may, you, you guys made this past year the best year of my life. And it just keeps getting better. When I think it's going to become worse, I look towards YouTube and it truly, guys, thank you so much. It really means a world to me. And uh, if, if you're looking at this video right now and you're uh, wondering why is this, you know, I was predicting a major pattern change of cold temperatures in July. I have to, you know, admit something. The, you know, it's still going to be chilly up till Saturday, but the cold did not last as long as I thought it would be. And you're probably like, huh, I knew it, you were wrong. Well, you know, I am not a meteorologist. Uh, I, I'm not. And you're like, then why do you make these weather videos? Because I'm still fairly decent at forecasting, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have a false name after me, the, the meteorologist. You know, I don't like people that are like me and call themselves meteorologists because we're not we simply here tell the forecasts but we are not officially meteorologists um i will get you know some things right wrong once in a while and actually quite often because weather is very very hard to predict and i thought it was gonna last longer but uh looks like right now i got a comment a couple days ago from i think brian he said there's gonna probably be a heat wave and it looks like as if there's gonna be heat wave i said no way man um, but, you know, it looks as if right now there's going to be heat wave. Things do happen, honestly. Uh, you know, I'm sorry I'm dragging into this video, but I just want to let you know that uh, not always do, does it turn out as forecasted. And I just wanted to let you know it's still going to be chilly. If we look at the 2 meter temperature anomalies, uh, it's going to be 2 meter temperature anomalies. We're going to be looking at... Nigger! <laughs> We're going to be looking at... I mean, look at that. That's... That's pretty chilly right there. You can see that blast that's going to be coming through Thursday and then last through about Saturday and then just dies away maybe towards the south. But the reason as to why the long range forecast was uh, it did not last as long as or the cold did not last as long as I forecasted it to be um, is because uh, we, you could see that... Uh, there's going to be, you've probably heard already about it, there's going to be a tropical storm or maybe even a hurricane that's going to start developing. It's going to go south through Alabama, through Florida, and start developing in the Gulf of Mexico, and then re, you know, re-emerge uh, back onto the coast, and that could produce much cooler temperatures. And the thing is that the models were not showing this a couple days ago. <coughs> I apologize about that, I had to sneeze. Um, that's what happened, in case I didn't sound And basically, I just want to get on with this video. You can see that this cold weather right here is actually pushing all the warmth that was originally supposed to be in the south up towards the north into parts of uh, the uh, upper plains, which is why it resulted into a way warmer pattern than actually forecasted it to be. Because I forecasted it, you know, it's going to be a very, uh, possibly chilly pattern cold july well you know now it it still doesn't look to be a record-breaking july in terms of heat um but though much warmer than expected and uh, you can still see there's gonna be chill i mean for thursday friday saturday sunday it's still gonna last for at least the east or the where i forecasted it to be but um we could see that uh Definitely this, I mean, look at that. This hurricane, if we were to look at the MSLP and precip, this hurricane or tropical storm don't want to get anyone, you know, alarmed yet. Though this tropical disturbance, tropical system, I should say, uh, is at this point bringing a lot of cooler air. And that's obviously with every tropical storm, every hurricane, they always bring in cooler air because cloud cover, rain, that's just natural. But then this pushes this warm air up to the north and exaggerates the heat way more to, to you know across these areas i mean it's just so fascinating this pushes a more it's it's this is actually this video needs to be titled similar to what was yesterday this interesting and unique pattern because it is it, frankly it's so unique i mean looking at uh, the, the 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 meteorology behind this it's it's fascinating because the models obviously it was a hurricane so that's not you know don't not all of them always agree but now they're mostly agreeing it's going to be a or i shouldn't say hurricane but a tropical system is going to be approaching on the coast and most agree at this point on that and you can see that it's going to be very chilly across these areas very you know 
cold in fact but uh the, the, the heat is way exaggerated to the north because of this because let me quickly draw this out to you basically as this moves on the coast uh let's take a drawing tool as this moves here's the low and uh it's a very strong one and it's spinning uh and it's spinning uh, clockwise and it's it's revolving and the winds are and it's pushing itself to the north and while it's up here uh, it keeps revolving it up here to this, uh, the cool, chilled rain, and it keeps pushing those warm temperatures up to the north. While there's a high pressure in southern Canada that's also pushing uh, the things uh, south because it's spinning counterclockwise. And these just provide this giant dome of high pre of warm temperatures that just stay there and sit and don't bulge you know don't move at all because they're squashed between these two powerful systems towards the end of the forecasting period it looks as if it's going to be different it looks uh, obviously they're not going to last forever this cold high pressure or this cold system is going to fade away quickly as it reaches land and um, you know re evolves and moves on and that high pressure will all also slowly move on so then you know a whole pattern change again another pattern change could occur but as of now it looks as if the temperatures are going to be fairly warm for those uh, parts of the country especially the middle the midwest the plains even the northeast and again my reasoning for this and uh many others reasoning for this uh, for this confusion that occurred was because of this hurricane this this tropical system it messed everything up because it was on track to be fairly chilly but this warm air got pressed and i mean it all all it takes is one of those little um bloopers uh, if you want to call it the tropical storm tropical system to come on the forecast radar and it could mess your whole forecast up for the whole month i mean that's why weather is so unpredictable and so hard but that's the whole fun behind it uh, if you were to look at the uh, ensembles right now, I mean, they have completely flipped around. This is the 18Z Monday. So as of now, they're still showing chill. There's, you know, it's still going to be chilly. I mean, look at this. That's chilly, especially during the day. The anomalies are cooler. It's been very nice here. But notice how it gets a little bit warmer here on Wednesday across the areas that have been chilly. But then another wave comes through. Pretty chilly air across the Midwest. Stays around until Saturday. And then again, that tropical system comes on here. A high pressure from the north squashes this air. I mean, just look at that. That is way above average here and during the summer you only need a little bit above average to produce some alarmingly hot temperatures uh, and you could see that towards the end uh, we may be going into a different pattern you could see more of a, a flow possibly uh, this is still very far speculation I want to emphasize that uh, you could see that the jet stream possibly is going to be maybe doing something like this and uh or i should say that's where the cold air is going to be riding along the low pressure the high pressures and the low pressures with the storms are going to be coming along this producing some uh, possibly uh, chillier weather across uh, the south southern i guess two-thirds of the country to southern western but we'll just have to see um this is still bound to change and you know at now we have to focus about this heat that's going on so you know if you're if you're and you know the long range outlooks that i made a couple days ago they were scheduled long range 6 to 10 8 to 14 days out they're scheduled for this time frame so about this weekend and then afterwards uh, i thought it was also going to be pretty cool but it, again weather changes um i'm not going to deny it. i'm not always right i'm you know it's often i'm not right in terms of weather um you know not too often not like yeah you're not you're not worthy it's just that um i'm wrong often enough to make uh weather a, a challenge like it would be to anyone i mean I, like i mentioned a couple of videos ago this could still be a, a, a i could have all the model data in the world like the NOAA has i mean they're literally out of the national weather service they're literally the official officials of the weather and they have all the data but they still can't honestly forecast sometimes better than i do like that's you know obviously they forecast better in terms of they could do a much wider area but in terms of the details i could sometimes get them nailed down further than they can and i'm not bragging i'm just saying that's what it is and many of you have realized that as well with your own forecast sometimes you tell things based on your own ways and sometimes they're better than the national weather service or noaa and uh so yeah i'm sorry i was kind of going on a rant in this video but let's look at the i want to show you the uh the, the let's go to the gfs i want to show you the uh the two meter temperature no i wanted to show you quickly the total accumulated precip with that tropical system that's going to be occurring i mean look very heavy rain but up to the north realize not that much and that could be a cause for drought and especially with that heat wave i mean it could be pretty bad but you know hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad but look at that very heavy rain um very 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 heavy rain from that tropical system 
and uh, this is only 258 hours out if you go to the 18z model run uh, you can see it's not showing as much rain here because it literally did not even have that tropical storm yet forming which is why it still showed those cooler temperatures which is why it fooled many um, you know as to why this uh, why this heat wave wouldn't happen but um, you know these things change in the weather but uh, you know that's how it is and I would also like to uh, go to the ensemble no not the ensembles I would like to go to Oh, uh, the, 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 the two, I would like to show you the 2 meter temperature shaded and see what the actual temperatures are going to be with this. I mean, they're going to be pretty ridiculously warm. At this point, the models are entering into a phase I like to call kind of, um, well, just over-exaggeration on one side. When it's usually when it's a cold pattern, they over-exaggerate the cold that's going to happen in the future. And what, usually when it's a warm pattern, uh, taking hold in the long range, they exaggerate the warmth. And you could see that right now, some chilly weather. Uh, in terms of summer standards, you could see 60s. It's still very warm to the south, don't get me wrong. And notice how that Thursday is going to be very chilly here, uh, or here, across the Midwest and Great Lakes. Um, and uh, but then it quickly warms up. I mean, look, it, you start seeing again this cool temperature right here, 70s. You can see that little area of cooler temperatures, and uh, the, the heat just builds and to keep building, 80s, 90s, and then it just does not seem want to stop based on the models. But again, the models previously were wrong. So how long this goes, we don't know. But look, 100, 100, 100 is widespread going as far as Michigan. So at this point, yes, a heat wave is likely. Um, and that's, you know, most likely not going to change. Look, I mean, look at this. Hour 384, very far out. Again, it could definitely change, but still shows ridiculous heat wave, possibly, which we'll just have to track. But again, um, not all are pointing, not everything is pointing towards a heat wave in a longer range. But, uh, I mean, anything past July 20th. But from about July 10th through about 20th, it looks fairly warm. So, uh, consider subscribing, guys. Uh, consider liking the video, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.